Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your messages from the angels at Christmas reading and it is for the sign of Cancer. So I hope you're well Cancer. Now remember it can just be a message, it can just be advice, it can be something specific that we get from the angels as well. So let's see what we get. So angel spirits guides, what is the message that Cancer needs to hear the most please around Christmas? What is the message that Cancer needs to hear the most around Christmas? Thank you. Okay. Oh, beautiful trust. Now, you see the moon energy here, and it's almost kind of like shining, lighting the path. I mean, this can be about dealing with shadow. When you don't have full perspective of a situation or full clarity, there is a sense of trust your intuition because you are being guided you are being watched over it feels very much like hidden blessings this card trust trust that trust that you're being guided trust that things will work out trust that even though you don't see the picture big picture the universe does and it's guiding you in the right direction lovely energy that card okay what is the message for cancer please angels at Christmas. What is the message that Cancer needs to hear the most at Christmas? Thank you. Okay, two, three cards, okay. So I'm going to pop that there. We have Camel. Be forbearing and patient, Archangel Jophiel. We have Elephant, open yourself to true abundance, Archangels Mary and Raphael, lovely energy there. And it's coming out a lot this month, we have Owl, listen to the messages of the angels, Archangel Bokpi. Again, you're being guided, watched over. There could be some synchronicities in the next, you know, couple of weeks here, Cancer, you know, um, either bumping into people, a conversation, um, social media links, somebody getting in contact, you know, I mean, it can be any kind of thing. Um, but it feels very powerful that you are being guided. Okay, so I'm going to pull a card from the Archangel Michael deck because I really like these energies. Um, Archangel Michael is a symbol of power and protection. So Archangel Michael, what is the message for our lovely Cancers, please? Cancerians, what is the message for Cancer, thank you, at Christmas? What does Cancer need to hear the most? Thank you. Oh, wow, what did I say? <laughs> You're on the right path. Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make healthful life changes. I love that energy. Okay. So you are being guided. This is an energy of hidden blessings. I'm going to pull three cards, Cancer. And it's an open intuitive reading, no categories. So let's just see what message we get. So what do we have for Cancer, please, angels? What is the message that Cancer needs to hear the most? Ace of Wands. Love it. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. So Cancer, it, it feels for some of you, you know, the Seven of, of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, I mean, two Sevens, again, the Sevens are so powerful, it's a master number, it's divine energy watching over you, protecting you, guiding you, so do look up the Seven energies, you might even see Seven a lot, you know, in the next couple of weeks. We have the Seven of Swords and the Seven of, of Pentacles here. It feels for some of you that there is some perseverance. Again, feeling of patience. Be patient. It feels like the abundance is coming. I mean, this can be a card of good things come to those that wait. You might be secretly working towards an opportunity. Um, for example, if you're employed, you might be going for another job, you know, and it's not materializing as quickly as you hoped it would. So it can be that kind of energy. You might be going for a promotion. You might be going for 
um, a new role, you know, that kind of energy. It can also be about, you know, um, taking inspired action to what to a passion or desire here. And again, there could have been some delays or setbacks. You might have been tested in a situation, starting something new, maybe even starting your own business. For some of you, it might well be you're, you're quietly putting something into action, but things don't seem to be have materializing as quickly as you wanted them to. And it is a card of, of covertly putting something into action, covertly putting a plan into action, because obviously you don't want to jeopardize your current work, your current job, your, your current business, whatever this is. Um, it doesn't seem to be materializing, you know, and there is a message, persevere, persevere. You are on the right path. If you're feeling that shadow energy, because there is Saturnian energy here, you know, you are, you know, this can be a card of, of don't hold back, you know, um, how we can self-sabotage as well, the Seven of Swords, trust. Trust that you are being given hidden blessings, guidance now. Um, and again, the camel, patience, open yourself to true abundance here. It feels the perseverance will bring you the reward. And here we have the reward. So the Ace of Wands is opportunity. Opportunity that you've been taking action towards. It is the door finally opening. And it's the hand of God, the divine, that's giving you this reward, that's giving you this opportunity, that's giving you this, this new beginning almost, or new phase, new level, call it what you will. This is something that you want to take action towards, that you seem to have been persevering on. And again, there could have been delays, setbacks, could be to do with the pandemic here, could be to do with, you know, just things not, you know, working out as quickly as you wanted them to. But it feels for some of you, the opportunity is coming. So I love the energy there. Um, now, this can also be a passion, a desire, something that you're passionate about, that you've been trying to get off the ground here. But things, again, you might have had a few setbacks. But again, definitely, it feels like you've been doing something covertly here, Cancer, you know, but for, for all the right reasons, you know, this is to do with a, a real passion. And you can see there's such potential with the Ace of Wands. It's sprouting, it's beginning to grow, that when you plant this seed card, it will bring long-term success if you continue taking action towards it. So it definitely feels like the beginnings of something new is happening for some of you, either next level, new door, new beginning, call it what you will. It can be a passion that you're trying to make happen or it can be to do with an opportunity, but it feels there's such potential, there's such potential and the reward will come. Love that energy, Cancer, it's, it's exciting. This is exciting, it's electric. It's something you really want. You know, our passions drive us. They give us the energy to overcome challenge delays. If we want something badly enough, you know, this is the energy of you can make it happen. So beautiful energy here. So final message for Cancer, please, angels. Final message for our lovely Cancerians. This card is coming out in nearly every reading so far. <laughs> and it has come out for you. You've had two owls. So that's obviously an important symbol for you as well. We have sight. Detach your emotions from situations that you cannot control and focus on what you can. And that is that energy. Taking stock of the practical things that are within your capability con to control and using your time and energy wisely. Yeah. Love the reading, Cancer. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. I wish you a very Merry Christmas and I will see you next time. Thank you.